friends so in this video tutorial i am going to show you how to write your fulfillment code in your local machine uh, using visual studio code or any other code editor and then deploy it to the google cloud so let's start with creating a, a demo agent so create new agent and let's call it terminal demo and let's create it okay so our uh, terminal demo agent is created and now what we want is we want to write some fulfillment code but we want we don't want to use this inline code editor but instead we are going to use visual studio code so let's see how can we use visual studio code to uh, to write our uh, fulfillment code and then deploy it to the google cloud so that our dialog flow uses the webhook so we are going to see that uh, there are a couple of things that you need to keep in mind first is you should be owner of this project uh, you might see some errors if someone has just shared the agent with you and if you are not the owner of the project so make sure you are the owner of the project and second thing is make sure the billing account is enabled so if you want to know how to enable billing account then please watch this video okay now let me quickly enable the billing account for this project all right so the billing account has been enabled for this project and uh, let's quickly enable this so our inline editor is enabled so what i'm going to do is uh, so right now uh, our inline editor is enabled and if we make any changes uh, we can see this uh, those changes in this agent but uh, what we want to do is we want to write this code in our visual studio code we don't want to write this code here okay so the first step is to make sure it is working so you can get started by just enabling this and uh, you see there is a message welcome to my agent let's see if this message is coming or not so this message should come from the default welcome intent if you see default welcome intent and it is linked to this function the welcome function so this comes code comes by default so you don't need to do anything you just need to click on deploy just click on deploy and wait for a few minutes Okay, so the function is successfully deployed to Google Cloud. Now let's go to our intents. Go to default welcome intent and just enable the fulfillment and save it. All right, so let's try now. So if I say hi, it says welcome to my agent. So that means this response is coming from our fulfillment. Now, we want to write the code in our local code editor. So how to do that? So to do, to do that, we are going to just, first of all, we are just going to download this. So you can click on this download button and if you see uh, it downloads a zip file so click on that so we have downloaded the zip file and this is what we get okay so fulfillment and then firebase and then functions so Let's open terminal and let's cd to this folder. So you see we have index and then package.json. Now 
what we can do is we can open this file in Visual Studio Code. So you see we have opened those downloaded files here in Visual Studio Code and uh, this is our index.js file. Okay. So now let me open the terminal and uh, if I do ls I should see those files. So now first thing you need to do is do a npm install to install all the required dependencies all right so the installation is done now uh, right and now we need to install firebase so just go to google and search npm firebase tools and you will see this to install this you just need to run this command npm install dash g firebase tools and it will install firebase so to check if it is installed or not just write firebase here i have already installed this that's why I don't need to run that command. So see I got this output here. So now once we have Firebase installed, uh, we need to run this command. Firebase projects and list. So this is not mandatory but this is just to get a list of the projects you have to get the project ID. You can also get the project ID from uh, from here. So if you go to intents and click on this cog wheel. So you can get the project ID from here as well. and. Uh, if not, you can just run project list and then you can get the project ID. So, this is our terminal demo project ID. So, now what you need to do is go to your package.json and see this deploy command. So, in here just write project and then name of the project okay. firebase deploy only functions and then project and then name of the project okay and now just run npm run deploy so before we do that let's make some changes just to see if the changes are being reflected or not so this response coming from PS code, something like that. Make sure it is coming from local. So we have changed this uh, message from in the welcome in, uh, welcome function. So when the welcome intent or default welcome intent is triggered, we should see this message. This response is coming from VS code and now run npm run deploy one more thing uh, you might need to do firebase login since I'm already logged in I don't need to do that but uh, when you do it for the first time you need to run firebase login and it will open a web browser where you will log in with your Google account the same account uh, with which you have created uh, this agent and uh, 
once you are logged in successfully uh, you can run npm run deploy All right, so our deployment is now complete. You can see uh, deploy complete. Now what you need to do is go back to your uh, agent and go to fulfillment. And uh, all you need to do is enable this webhook and uh, it will automatically disable your inline editor and you will see the URL will automatically be there. So this is the correct URL. We don't need to change anything here. We just need to save it. So scroll down and click on save. And uh, now we can trust test it. So if I say hi, see this response is coming from VS Code. So you see how easy it is to deploy uh, the code from your local. Visual Studio Code. Now you can change anything here and just run the deployment code. You can create multiple files here as well and uh, the changes will be reflected in the Dialogflow agent. One important thing to keep in mind is that now if multiple people are working in uh, on the same agent then you need to put this code in a GitHub repository because uh, this code will not be visible in the inline editor and uh, if multiple people want to sync up and work on the same project then they should use git and github so i hope you like this video so if you like this video then please click on like button share it with your friends and please subscribe to our channel thank you